What's going on, Spartans? Sorry, fuck. <laughs> What's going on, Spartans? My name is Smith Knight, and welcome back to another Halo 5 Guardians video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about SOMEBODY CALL 911! <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? He has a turret! Okay, sir, calm down. What kind of turret does this individual have? THE HUNTER'S TURRET! BITCH! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> uh, I need to stop. What's going on, Spartans? My name is Myth Knight, and welcome back to another Halo Hobby Gardens video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new information we got from the ninth update of Halo 5 Guardians named Anvil's Legacy. The Anvil's Legacy update is going to be launching September the 8th. That is about in two weeks. I think we're, we're on the 25th, so um, I guess I'll 31 days. Um, six plus... Yes, two weeks. Exactly two weeks. Forge Content Browser. The Anvil's Legacy free content release brings easily one of the most eagerly anticipated features to Halo 5 Guardians. A rob robust? Robust. A robust new Forge Content Browser. The Forge Content Content browser not only supports custom maps and game modes, but also the ability to share and discover brand new Forge object groups. A new feature designed to streamline the creative process by letting players save prefabricated object groups such as buildings, bases, and much more. You can basically do a dildo and upload it to the content browser and someone's going to use it in their map. <laughs> this is a humongous, huge step for the Forge community in Halo 5 Guardians. New Arena and Warzone maps. Anvil's Legacy also adds two new multiplayer maps, an Arena map and Warzone Assault map that are set on the world of St. Helios. Mercy is the arena map, Ooh. Arena Mercy and Temple Wars and Assault. Mercy is a beautiful play space that combines contested corridors with a mix of open sight lines. If you didn't know, Mercy is the risk in the oh, fuck. If you didn't know, Mercy is the remake of Haven, one of the most iconic maps from Halo 4. And Wars and Assault Temple is a brand new large-scale battleground built from the ground up with Wars and Assault in mind. New racks. Anvil's Legacy also includes several new racks for players to collect, including new weapons, attachments, weapon and armor skins, and more. Some fun favorite armors to get a new coat of paint, and a new magnum loadout. Let's Spartans pack a new powerful punch in a nice convenient package. I told you guys that the, mag that the gunfighter magnum was going to be a unlimited use rack, so fuck you the ones that didn't believe me. And one of the most iconic new guns in this update is the, of course, the Hunter's Turret. We have been waiting more than 15 years to use this freaking gun in a Halo game. And it is finally happening. Fuck yes. One thing that I'm curious about is that in this trailer you can see some Spartans using the turret. And some Spartans are shooting the turret like if it was a repeater cannon, like such great sound effects. And some of them are shooting the turret like if it was a brute shot. So I don't know if there's going to be two variants of the turret or is it going to be like it has shooting modes like RT for repeater shot and LT for Root shot? Uh, I don't know, fuck. Impress me, 343, please. Also, on September the 8th, 343 is going to be launching a brand new Halo app, which lets you quickly and easily find, download, and launch Halo games available on Windows PC. So it's going to be like an interface for... I don't know if you want to play Halo with Spartan Assault or Halo Wars 2 on your PC. It's like the interface you use to play on them, or... I don't know. 343 3, amaze me. So, okay, guys, that is all for today. If you guys like the video, slap a like on it. I'll greatly appreciate What the fuck? Is that a new armor set from Emil? No. I thought this sent it two months ago. No. Not again, please. No. Not again! <laughs>